Hello, caffeinators. Hey, uh, everybody. It's, uh, let's see here, it's Friday, 11 a.m. for me. Um, this is uh, our new um, video intro of our ep- upcoming episode that will be released on Sunday night. Yes, yes. With, uh, with Mary Berg. We've, we've already released that information on Facebook. So, um, Dave, what did you think of the episode? I liked it. I, I, I mean, we've talked before. I, I used to be a real dental geek where I, I did a lot of dentistries. I'm sorry, cohats. Cohats. I need to change that to cohats. But back then, it was called the dentistry. We called them dentistries back then. Um, whether or not that's correct or not, but uh, you yeah. know, changing the language up a little bit, I, I think, is important. But you know, you and I talked that at one point I was considering going that route and doing mm-hmm. a VTS in dentistry because I, I mean, I still do them now with my relief work. I, I work. I do a lot of dentistries. Um, and <laughs> cohats. And she kind of. Co- <laughs> sorry. Ah. <laughs> It's it's been so ingrained in my into my my language for almost twenty years that it, it's hard to switch up. Mm-hmm. Um, but she mentioned that you know the the hours that you need is not just sitting there cleaning teeth for right. I, I forget I forget the number of hours probably close to five six thousand hours. Um, but it's also like education, and yeah. she said that's one of the things that she really likes about dentistry is the education of clients and kind of talking with owners. Yeah, um, which you know is, is a really valuable tool in 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 the dental world. That you know, without that knowledge, I mean, a lot of owners don't come in for dental health care until the teeth are falling out, and then you're like, well, we could have fixed this last year or the year before, right? And you know, just kind of that education and kind of you know, when she said one of the best things that you can do is educate yourself on stuff that you're not comfortable with, because that's part of the reason why we, why we don't like it or, we, or we're, we shy away from it because we don't know enough about it. Right. What do you think? Uh, I, I mean, I thought it was great. I think dentistry is one of those things that, you know, in, in general practices, I feel like there's always somebody that is very dental motivated or, den- yeah. you know, dentistry yeah. motivated um, that just right. loves cleaning the teeth and, and you know loves doing all of those things and so i thought there was a lot of really good information for you know for people that might be interested in that yeah i was really um interested to hear the requirements and and the kind of application and examination process for their academy because um if i'm not mistaken she said you actually like get accepted to go through you get accepted first yeah through the process um and i, I really like that um you know they have a, a practical uh component to their examination yeah. as well um you know just to kind of reinforce that you know your skills are up to par and, and what have you so i found that really fascinating and and i think the other thing for me as well especially as a California resident where tooth extractions are legal for veterinary technicians to perform, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, to hear, and I I haven't read it, and maybe it's something we should actually see if we can download and post as well, the position statement from the the veterinary dentistry about, you know, extractions and that being oral surgery and and that she doesn't do extractions and that, you know, she doesn't believe we should be doing extractions. And, um, you know, so I thought I found that really interesting discussion as well, because, yeah, you know, in California, it's it's something that we have maybe erroneously fought for for so long to be able to do. Um, and she kind of even described, you know, those tiny little incisors that are only hanging on by the tartar when you go to intubate them you know yeah. that you know plucking those out versus doing a gingival flap and sectioning a yeah, carnasial yeah. are two very yeah. different things very but, different things but in california that's completely yeah acceptable. and when i was in new hampshire that was that was legal too and yeah i even said in the episode i i there were a couple doctors that came in that i actually taught how to take teeth mm-hmm. out and mm-hmm. at that point you know that was one of my things in my skill set that i could do yeah um you know, yeah. one of the things that I actually enjoyed doing, but you know, yeah. you know, when you think about it, it's probably not the yeah. best for technicians to be doing. Yeah. And the, the school that I went to, um, you know, we still teach it, um, uh, you know, sectioning oh, and really? drilling really? teeth on cadaver labs. And, and, and so oh, wow. I feel like our students get some good and doing dental blocks and all that stuff for it. Like, I feel like our students get some good education, but at the same time, I, I, I completely understand where, where they're coming from yeah. as well, that, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Um, yeah. So I, I thought that was really interesting food for thought. I've been kind of chewing on that for the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah. So um, Yeah, and, and back when I was taking teeth out and doing extractions, 
it was something that was taught to me by a doctor and mm -hmm. I got good at it. And yeah. you know, when it came down here, that was like, you can't do that. What are you talking about? <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, talk, you know, hearing her talk about a couple of the patients that she's worked on and, yeah, yeah. and, um, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I'm one of those people. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of going to the dentist. I do it. I don't love it, but you know, like dental pain. Does anyone really love going to the dentist? I know, I know. But <laughs> but dental pain, like if you have a toothache, like it is yeah. miserable. Like it is so, miserable. So hearing her talk about a couple of those patients um, that were, you know, basically new dogs um, after the, yeah. the the oral surgery that they had. Well, while I can't relate, but I can see, like, I can't imagine how miserable, yeah. you know, some of those pets are. And then the well, it's just that, that chronic get, pain, yeah. right? The yeah. chronic pain that that you adjust to and, and deal with, right. and then when suddenly that pain is gone, it's like, what do I yeah. do with myself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and and I also, I mean, you know, she kind of touched on it a, a little bit. You know, she has a background in research, which we've we've I, I, I'm I'm blown away actually. The the more that we do this podcast, yeah, how many technicians we talk to that have been doing this for a long time, like you know, you and I mm -hmm. time or longer. That started in research, um, yeah. or, or at least have some some um, have had some kind of research pathway, uh, because that's something I never considered. Uh, Me neither. I, I, I wouldn't even know where to, to yeah, go to. Yeah, same. To same, find that. Same. And so you know, I, I thought that th that was super fascinating. And you know, we didn't even talk to Mary about all of the other hats that she wears. But I, I feel right. like. You know, Mary is another guest that we could have on six different times and talk about six, For different, six things different things. Yeah, because she does so much with um, the Dental Academy, with NAVTA, with um, her state vet tech association, KVTA, like so many different things. Um, but it was it was really cool to focus on dentistry because, yeah, I think, you know, maybe ECC aside and, and certainly internal medicine, which is a huge umbrella, but I feel like dentistry is, is, you know, what I would say is maybe one of the big three, like ECC, IM and, and dentistry. And yeah, and it's been around a long time. And so it was well, great and to... what we, what we said in the episode was <clears throat> nearly every technician is going to encounter something mm -hmm. dental mm -hmm. in their career. Yeah. If you work in general practice, even yep. if you work in ECC, sometimes mm -hmm. we we get those broken tooth that comes in, and you're like, we, "We're not, we don't have that stuff. <laughs> we can't yeah. fix you here." Yeah. Um, but we could give you some pain meds and tell you yeah. to go to your vet in the morning. But yeah. But every every technician, not every, but probably ninety percent of technicians are going to encounter dental disease, mm -hmm. uh, dental issues that they need to uh, kind of address. Mm -hmm. as as part of their jobs yeah yeah and it, uh you know to hear her talk about the as well and i don't want to give away too much but the the um the vet school education side of dentistry um yeah. you know in yeah. my uh you know short run of academia which was four years but i mean we had a dental scaler at tufts but it occasionally got wheeled into the er <laughs> like and we had one faculty member that would use it and it was really just scaling teeth it was not dental x-ray and right, you know right. uh, uh probing the teeth or any of that it was just like scaling off tartar like getting ready yeah right you know tartar like, and, uh, and like doing those accidental extractions right exactly a lot of <laughs> a lot of it a lot of that education you know sure they had the classroom but but in terms of actually doing it that was dependent on where they went for externships or, or what have you right. and and for a general practitioner like dentistry is huge like i mean General mm -hmm. practices do dentistries do cohats every day, and and they're they're really valuable. Yes, yeah. like they're they're very profitable for yes. for the amount of work that we have to do. Right. You know, I think when I was doing dentals, like they were like maybe three four hundred dollars. Granted, this was like twenty years ago, but mm -hmm. yeah, now you know, dentistries with. You know, full mouth X rays, mm -hmm. extractions. You know, they're they're like fifteen hundred dollars sometimes, yeah. and yeah. you know, not to not to add money into the equation, but right. you know, that's that's a really valuable tool yeah. that it, as technicians we can be a part of absolutely. to profit for our for our bosses essentially. Yeah, yeah. And, and with how much she said, you know, how how often they find pathology on X rays. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, that you wouldn't know just by looking at the teeth. Um, right. So, right. yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it was, it was fascinating discussion for me. Yeah. 
So. Yeah. Anyway. Um, and I like thinking about all that dental stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, caffeinators, we really hope you like this one. Um, if you like teeth, yeah. this episode is, is definitely for you. <laughs> and, and, and Mary Berg is, is a wonderful guest. Like, she just has an incredible amount of knowledge. Um, yeah, she is. And uh, hopefully we get to talk to her again about other stuff soon because um, – there's just so much we can talk about that we barely yeah, scratch the surface so much, on. Yeah. So um, we hope you guys like this one. Definitely let us know what you think. Um, follow us on all of our outlets, uh, Instagram, Facebook. We have a Patreon now. So if you guys like what we're doing and you want to support us, um, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, you can check that out as well. Um, otherwise, um, we'll, we'll see you guys again soon. Bye, guys. Bye, caffeinators. <laughs>